to go over with you guys today some of the activities that you could be doing with your uh, children that are between the ages of three and four. I'm gonna go over where I got everything first and then um, I will go over just a little bit of what I did with it. And then I will show you at the end of the video um, the kids using it and how they are reacting to using it. Um, we need, sometimes with the three to four year old group, they can get bored with us homeschooling, so they need extra activities while the ones are homeschooling. Four year olds do work out of workbooks, but they get done pretty quick, so they need some extra stuff that we can just pull out and they can work on this kind of activity. This is more for fine motors using their hands. I did do a video last week, age group of one and two, and then to like two to three, depending on what it is. This one's just a little bit more challenging. Some of the stuff in here is repeated, but that's okay. It's just at a different level as the younger group. And mainly everything that I got it is pretty cheap. And some of the stuff you probably have at home, like spaghetti noodles and Cheerios and stuff like that. Everything here is pretty basic and pretty cheap. Um, I will go over that with you right now. So with the sponges, I did get the sponges at the dollar store and then I just cut them up in different sizes and we are going to be, or the, the boys are gonna be doing um, towers with these. That's one activity. Another activity I had in my last video is button sewing. So I do have the rainbow colors here. And with the younger group for the other video that I did, they wouldn't be able to do maybe some things that the bigger kids would do. So I would probably require them to do um, the rainbow colors to keep everything in that way. So they would take the red. I didn't really have a good orange but then they would sew together the orange and then sew together the yellow and the green and they would have to put that all on their ribbon. So I just, all I did is cut out a rectangle. I did have felt laying around the house, but I think you can get some at Hobby Lobby and maybe the dollar store, I'm not sure. Um, the sponge I did get at the dollar store and the ribbon I had from somebody that gave me that, and then the buttons I just have collected over the years. And with this, you are going to want to just fold your rectangle in half and just put a slit in there for the button. So that's what they're gonna be working on for that um, activity. And I will also put that in a bag for them to take out and work on. Okay, so that is that activity. We're gonna go over here quick and I will show you um, this activity. So I did get the straws, dollar store also. I did get this container at the dollar store. Um, they This was like their spring line that I just got. All I did is uh, take a screwdriver and um, pound it in a hole for the straws to be able to fit in. And what they would do is just put it right in and then it goes inside. And then you can store them in there also if you would like. So I will go over that at the end of the video with the boys, um, showing you um, how they like using that. Okay, so that was, that's another activity. I have 10 activities all together in this video. Um, if you guys want, go check out my other video and that one has 11 for that age group. Next thing you're gonna want to get is Play-Doh. This I got at the dollar store and I think you can get some cheap ones at Walmart also. You're gonna want to create little balls for um, certain things to go inside. The wooden dowels I think I got from somebody but I think you can get these at the dollar store or Walmart or any craft store. And what you're going to do is just stand them up in the Play-Doh and we will show you that later. And then they're able to put these on um, the sticks so they can pile them up if they would like. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging for them, get smaller noodles, and then that would be um, a little bit harder for them to do. Another thing um, 
that you're going to do with the Play-Doh also is you're gonna make the balls, like I said, or just little stands for your, you know, your sticks to go in, but you're also gonna do a stand for your spaghetti noodles. So this can be a little bit more tricky for the older age group, and we will show you how to do that activity, but what they're going to do is use a noodle, and then they're going to put their, um, their Cheerios right on top and make a uh, Cheerio tower, or they're also going to have some buttons and then they have to slide the buttons on the noodle without breaking it. So I will show you that activity after. Um, another kind of creative way to use up these sticks is put some holes in a toilet paper holder and then they have to pull these out and then they have to be able to try to put the stick in and then pull it out through the other side. I did not put this in my last video for the younger group just because it's a little bit more challenging for them to be able to get it to the other side, but this is just a little fun thing for them to um, play with. You could also bring it in a vehicle if you need something extra to do in the vehicle and they could just sit and pull that out and put this you could also put this in a baggie also, and then you just carry your bag and then maybe have like a backpack or something that your kid could carry it in and bring that along. Okay, so another thing I found at the dollar store was this um, little light bright thing. So with the little ones, they're able to just kind of use their hands and fingers and um, put them in the area that they need to go in and then it goes. So that'll be another fun activity for them to play with. So that's another one. And then these I got from somebody, so I'm not sure. I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby or uh, the dollar store or another craft store. And I'll try, if I remember, I'll try to leave a lot of this down in the description for you guys to purchase on your own. Um, otherwise, if you do have a dollar store and stuff like that in your area, um, it's always nice to be able to get some uh, cheap stuff and things that you can just grab quick for your kids to have um, when they are bored and things you just want to pull out for them. So with these, they have to um, be able to squeeze them open. You could have them um, squeeze them and put them on a noodle like I'm trying to do this at the same time so so you can do stuff like that and then maybe um they could drop it in a container and then pick up another one and you could even do that with maybe multiple children where you could do like a little bit of a race so each child has a clip they have their own bowl of noodles and then they can kind of go back and forth so maybe make it a little bit more challenging if it was timed and um a faster activity so this wouldn't be something the little kids would do like the younger group because at that age it's just being able to just maybe even um, clipping it or not even clipping it but squeezing it that might be even hard so the four-year-olds I'm sure they're able to do that a little bit faster okay so that is that that craft or that activity Another thing I got was this. It was a four-piece set from Amazon. I did see a lady using this on, on Instagram, and I kind of reached out to her to see where she got it. She ended up ordering hers off of a website. I was able to find mine on Amazon for like six or seven dollars. So what you're going to, or what they're going to be doing with it is you open it up, grab a pom pom. And then they have to drop it in the matching uh, color cap. Or you can get a container, and this could be another race too. So they have to grab, put it in a container, grab, and once they're all done, then they can win. So you could do something like that. Or they have to grab with these little grabbers and then put them in. Now in, I have another set of grabbers here too. But like for the little... For the little kids in the other video, they might not be able to grab these little tiny ones. They might only be able to grab the big ones. So to make it more challenging for the bigger group or the older kids is they would have to grab these little tiny ones with their little grabber and then try to match the cap in there. Okay, so that's one activity with the cap drop. Another thing is I just have a whole container of beads. They would have to match it per cap. 
you want to make it a little bit more challenging, they would have to try to grab it and then put it in whatever color it matches. And um, you could have one row, one kid would have to match quick. And then this could be the other child because I have twins, so there's always a competition. So one, ch one child could be on this side, one child could be on this side, and then they have to try to get all their buttons to match in there. So that could be, so you could start out real slow where they just have to match. And then if you want to speed it up, you could time them to see how fast they could do it. So you can kind of um, do a lot with that. Um, I told you guys in the last video, I got these either from somebody or from Hobby Lobby. I know they have them. Um, they're they're kind of like that foam. So there's really, really tiny pieces in here and that would be something that uh, older kids could grab with the grabbers and then they would have to place it in the matching color all right so that's the 10 activities and then i'm going to go over it with the kids and you will see them responding to playing with everything and um just showing you guys how it works with the kids and see if we can maybe do a little challenge with coming them. back to my channel i'm stephanie if you're new here i do homeschool videos some air fryer videos and then just like unboxing videos but today we're going to be doing more of um some fine motor activities for ages three and up and today we're going to be working with nash and lachlan here and they're in the four-year-old age group they're going to be five in july but these are some activities that they can pull out during homeschool when we need some extra things for them to work on or play with and a lot of this is just mainly um things that they can do with their hands and play with we are going to be doing a uh, sponge tower Another thing that I got at the dollar store is this little miniature light bright. This is something you could probably bring along with oh, I think I anywhere. Um, I don't really actually like yeah. so light up. You can just put them in. I don't even see any light up. See no, it's not very bright, is it? Yeah. I found a seat thing. Maybe it's off. The next activity that they're going to be using are the felt rectangle pieces. I'm gonna give them each their own button set. You will have to put this in rainbow orders. One of the other fine motor activities that we're going to be working with is just a regular toilet paper roll with some sticks from the craft store. So I went ahead and just poked some holes in it and Nash, is, Nash over here is going to see if he can match the holes to where the sticks need to go. So the next activity that you're going to be using is the straw drop. So you just get a container from any craft store or you could use an empty um, seasoning container that has holes on the top that you're able to use with your straw. My straws are pretty thin so I'm sure there's other sizes that you could work with. Um, and then all they need to do is just drop them in. So if you guys want to all take a turn and just put them in like that. The next activity we're going to be doing the 
um, like pom pom drop and matching. So I'm sorry if you guys can't see very well the way the sun is coming in right now. It's just kind of glowing everything and I can't get it to do what we needed to do. So just don't mind the extra sun. It's nice to have that finally shining through our windows. So with that, we are going to get started. Each child has, um, I have some grabbers right here that we're going to be using for this activity. The next activity with this board is going to be um, using these uh, sponge. Or not, are they sponge? No. They're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of spongy. But you can get these at Hobby Lobby. And what the kids are going to be doing or trying to do is um, some of them are going to have a grabby. You know what? You had it last time. He can use this one. You try this one. Okay. And okay. Mm -hmm. Here, try this. You try this one. We got one. So already. they're gonna try to grab and put in and match the colors. Um, otherwise, they can just pick them up with their fingers and then put them in the matching colors. I think that's a little harder with them, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's, you should be fine. Watch. I'll put some by you. you grab it. Oh, you might have to use your other finger. Like, if you go like this, can you go like this? And then do it that way. That may work. Nash, you're doing it right. There you go. Oh, and then the dark one goes in the dark one. Is there some... Is this even a... Oh, that's a green. Yeah, I'm not. There's a boy green. Uh, and then a boy green. This is a... For this activity, we are going to be using a couple different things for the same activity. It's just um, just to make the video a little bit faster, a little bit easier. I'm just going to tie it all in together, and then um, then it won't be so long for you guys. But you can kind of do this individually if you would like. So what you're going to need is the play-doh that I showed you in. Uh, the beginning of the video all I did is take them out of the container and this is what it looks like this is exactly what we need because you need kind of a base to put your things in so for the first activity we're going to be um, I'm just gonna put the sticks right in so you just need the craft sticks I'm gonna give each child the um, that they're going to be using and the first thing that they're going to be doing is putting the noodles on the sticks so i'm going to have them start doing that
Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Something a little bit different, but I told you guys in some of my other homeschool videos that I kind of wanted to do just things that might help you during your homeschool day or just activities and stuff for the little ones while your bigger ones are homeschooling. Um, but I just wanted to try to tie in some fine motor skills with the little ones. I am going to be doing some other videos with uh, sensory activities, so that'll be out in the future. Um, I do want to start going back to some of the stuff that I'll be doing with the older kids and what we're using for like English and spelling. I did do a video on math, what we're using for math, and I'll link that up above in a card if I remember. And But today I just wanted to show you some activities that you guys can pull out for the little ones. Hopefully that makes sense. If there's anything else that you guys want to see or want me to show you guys or ask me a question that you guys have or something like that with um, some other stuff that we're using with the kids. Um, this was just activities that you can pull out real quick and have available. Um, my twins get really bored really quick. They're four years old and they get done with their school pretty quick. So this is something that I can just pull out for them and they can play with. Um, you can kind of change it up a little bit, add your own twist to some of it. But this was just kind of a little reference on something that you could use. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.